Ah, fresh, not Shanghai air. Help, oh, Gamma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <mate. laughs> My name is Will. My name is Artem. And welcome to Celebrating the World, China's edition. Now, before we start this video, I want to explain why we feel the need to make it. Recently, Western media has been bombarded with anti-Chinese messages. In my opinion, this is not an objective view of the Chinese people. So the great majority of people in China are still really, really poor. I'm David Feinberg, and VBS sent me to China with a camera to film the dirtiest place on the planet. It's all very one-sided, and in our opinion, this is causing a second wave of yellow peril. And the future of the United States and the future of China doesn't just affect those two countries, it affects all of us. If ordinary people continue to be vilified by the media, then where is this world heading? We are not myth breakers. We don't want to focus on government, countries and institutes. Uh, the goal of our TV show is to explore and show different cultures and it doesn't matter actually which country they're related because we are all people and we have the same emotions, they have the same problems, the same happiness. The real world, the real China. So China has the biggest population in the world as you probably know. There's 56 ethnicities and 55 ethnic minorities. And the main ethnic group is Han people, which you all probably know. But there are still millions of people which belong to ethnic minorities and they have their own culture, own languages, own traditions. So we decided to start this pilot episode with one of these ethnic minorities. Now we looked on the map to find where the closest one is to Shanghai and we found one and it's called Shizhu, the Shi people. So we really realized that it was important to bring other people with different skills into this project. So we asked some of our talented friends what they thought they expected from this journey. What is important right now when, when I'm traveling, I actually looking for the place where I can make something by myself, but in their ancient way, how they did it like for a million years. Yeah? Traditional way. Yeah. Any ethnic clothing, yeah, yeah I'm like interested in. Yeah, I love to like dress up and like learn about the history and the culture and stuff like that. This is what people wore in the palace. So this is also not reflective of how people dressed um, like outside of the palace. So this is what they call Qing Gongfu. Like these outfits are Hanfu. 93% of Chinese population is uh, ethnic Han. Yeah. And then when people think about like, oh, what kind of traditional ethnic clothing you have, a lot of people only think about Qipa. That yeah. wasn't in, yeah. ex in fashion or in existence um, till like what, 1920s. So that's like a hundred years of his history, that's it. And, but people can't think back deeper because there hasn't been enough like emphasis yeah. or education. We also wanted to find a way to film it so it wasn't really boring, like one of them governmental promotional videos. At the same time, we don't want to be shallow and not that deep like many travel vloggers. If we just make documentaries, not yeah. like interesting. So yes. we make challenges yes. always. The whole thing is about challenges. Challenges for us like to make it all together and try local, uh, uh, how, what local do for business like uh, tea picking or like uh, cooking their local food or like... Uh... Through living with them, giving yeah. them more, making them more personable yeah. to Westerners who don't really have an understanding of China. And so, uh, the there plan. is no plan, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. We're just, just going to go there. So luckily we convinced them to come with us and in two days we set off on our adventure. Uh, Alright, we're kind of late, so we have to move fast. Come and say that. Where are they? I don't know why I spoke Chinese then. I'm nervous. We're late. Look at everyone queuing up already. Hello. Yeah. Have a ride. Hello. Welcome. Okay. And the other guy is. I don't know where he is. <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I was nervous on purpose. I have amazing intuition. The other cameraman isn't here yet. So, Xu Hao, where are you? We're gonna get on the train first and hope he arrives in time. You don't know. Where are you? I may or may not have like five or six hours. You're on the train, right? No, that's too fast. Quickly, we're going to get started. Yeah, phone number 2 is 
<laughs> yeah, take him down like that. That was so close. All right, let's go. So we're on the train on the way to um, Yishui. She's asking if we want some breakfast. No. If he's breaking the rules, you need to wear a mask. Actually. Oh yeah, shit. It's it's a law. Is it? Yes. She didn't say anything. Yeah, but yeah, that's rude. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. So we're in Hangzhou Dongjiang. So our cameraman bought the wrong tickets and at the last minute we couldn't buy a direct ticket. So we had to do a transfer in Hangzhou. We had 30 minutes to get from platform 1 to platform 2, which we thought should be super fast. But because of coronavirus, it wasn't so easy. Yes. for overseas personnel. We had to queue up, give them our passport information, get our temperatures taken, get a picture taken, and then get our passports checked again. I've talked my way into boarding a train before after the gate has closed, so... Really? Wow. <laughs> like, what is this very nice? Oh, no. <laughs> we made it within like 30 seconds. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. That was close. It could be separate actual episode about how you travel in institution of coronavirus yeah. in China. Exactly. It could be popular. <laughs> We fill out so many documents just for getting this thing. We could have printed that out at home. <laughs> and it's totally like transfer. Много восстановленного там есть. We need to show our health QR code. They have it for every city. So here's a Li Shui city health QR code. If it's red, no. He's uh, renting a car now. I don't know, he should be there. No? He's late. He sent us location. This is uh, Xiao Ma, our friend. Uh, As you put off my mask and hi. I'm a mother of dragon, I believe so. <laughs> Senia, I'm from Russia. I'm a fashion designer, ex-fashion designer. Right now, I'm a cyclist, a cyclist, and I'm do upcycling denim jeans and all the type of the denim fabric called this into the wearable and cool product. Hello, I'm Carol. Uh, I'm Chinese Canadian. Um, I work as a freelance interpreter, and I also make digital content, podcasts, and videos. <laughs> so. We come to Li Shui, Li Shui Zhang, Li Shui railway station. It yeah. is the closest one to 
to the Jingming Shuzhou Autonomous County and we need to drive around one hour. What I'm always surprised at when I come to the countryside of China is the infrastructure of the roads and the bridges and the tunnels. It's actually better than where I live in the UK. Like the infrastructure is amazing. That's interesting. We just passed like a three kilometers tunnel or something like that. And if in Russia we do this in rural area, all the country will know this. They will be so proud. We have been building this tunnel for like <laughs> 10 years and now we are grand opening. While China open like this kind of tunnels like every day around all the country. Uh, I don't think I've ever met um, a group of people um, that lived in like a matriarchy kind of society where things are passed along it's like, on the female line. Like yeah, the feminist activists don't come into this area. You okay. have nothing to do here. Oh. <laughs> Sutu I'm in China for, for nine years. Wow, nine years. I believe, yeah, I believe it's gonna, I'm gonna turn 10 years what? this summer. Oh my gosh, a decade in China. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, the time is just like, like whoo. Yeah. yeah, I can I can get into their jail <laughs> if, they, if they will know what we actually did like nine years ago. Yeah. I arrived to China to make a fake Victoria's Secret show. So it means that Imagine the show on the stage with yeah. all the costumes, the beautiful ladies. So uh, our company brought the 10 models, me as a designer. Yeah. We're gonna copy the whole <laughs> show like one to one yeah. and uh, run the show like around of China yeah. um, in the nightclubs, KTV and all this stuff. That's crazy. So that was an absolutely hardcore uh, China tour. What what was it also called Victoria's Secret? Yeah, we had we had the big bus like Lamborghinis, yeah. girls in the silk uh, like the, uh, like robes, yeah. you know, like they Mercy went Sunshine. outside of the club, yeah. then they give their signature yeah. and they, they took a picture with the guys, and uh, yeah, that was a kind yeah. of like me. I was just laughing all the time. I have a very Crazy. funny story. Uh, we arrived to Beijing and uh, there is um, one club, it's a Russian club called Chocolat. Yeah. And someone told me like there is a cheese, uh, you know like it's a traditional stuff like um, uh, pancakes with the cheese. Yeah, serve it at the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they serve it and, uh, they, and I said like okay, let's go there. Yeah. Even at night yeah. I just want to have my cheese, like yeah. I, I miss cheese. <laughs> and, and they were like okay, let's go. So I'm with the 10 girls sitting on a table, like big table, and I'm at the end of the table. Yeah. Ordering some food and sitting and waiting for my food and it's just exciting. And there's a guy, he approached me and he was like, how much does it cost the left one? <laughs> and I was like, no! Leave me alone! Because I want just cheese! Because all the girls are like super tall, yeah, right? They, and they you look like super right, And I'm so like a big Yeah, like, and I, I was like shirt, shirt like with the short hair and it's like you know like just in, at the end of the yeah, table yeah. and i was like 
man. Like, go away. I we just from here for cheese, okay? Like, yeah, no problem. Just how much is it? You know, like Victoria's Secret show, bing. Like all these feathers, yeah. feathers, like stones, and then yeah. working at night in China, China, China. But not like the China, like like Shanghai, China, yeah. Beijing, China. But like real China, China like this China, one. China, China, and uh, yeah, it was actually very interesting. And uh, uh, probably I, I'm very thankful that uh, that was the way how I actually learned about China. Yeah. Ah, we're done. We are. In Jingni. I'm gonna get out your side. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? Chocolate melted. It's 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 melted. 对了。那三十七点二。那三十七度的话。可以。嗯。那三十七点二。Uh oh. Cheese problem. Uh oh. A temperature of 37, so they're making him wait because you know in China at the moment you shouldn't have a temperature that high. Um, so it's probably just because he just got out of the car and he was hot, but they're not gonna let us go into the hotel before it drops down. So you know, safety precautions, safety first. Uh, <sighs> 啊,可以。現在正常是吧?對,我們現在是。啊,可以,你們先放這裡吧,因為這邊比較慢,它就快,它就快了。我們去三樓,你們。你們。The passport is still there, right? Yes, 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 let the let it. 走走走走走走。Right. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. This better than last time. How much is this? It's 130 RMB, which is like uh, $20. Yeah. $20. That's yeah. cheap. That's super cheap. Да, сейчас попробую. Да, 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 сейчас, секунду. Ah, oh, fuck, sorry. What's that? I need 10 minutes. Wait, what for? For radio, for interview with the Russian radio. Oh. They want to film it and uh, talk about coronavirus in China and how China back to normal. And I need 10 minutes to, sorry. Слышно? Да, я понял. Отлично, 8.35, через 10 минут, да? Хорошо, спасибо. Так, uh, they're live stream after 9 minutes, and it will be for 10 minutes. Uh, should we go and I will be doing it on the way? Yeah, that'll look cool. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get lunch, aren't we? So you can do it like near the way we're eating. But it's after 7 minutes. Well, that's okay. So well, let's me prepare, let's me prepare my stuff. Oh. We're looking for a... lunch. We have two uh... types of noodles. Okay. Oh, uh, you want to eat this? Or eat this? We want to eat this. Because it's afternoon, so most of the restaurants and cafes are closed now because lunch time is over. So we just have two options, noodles or noodles. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's take noodles. Yeah, good choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so fish, it can be fish. Or, or you can get some of the... I don't think they have fish. 
you. Or I think I think right next door there's Mala Tang. Uh, 旁边，因为他吃素，我看他麻辣烫应该可以吃。哦，可以的。就是那个汤，有没有就纯素的？三叶汤，我想就是鸡汤，他不吃肉。Yeah, yeah, yeah. 这个我也没吃过，就是我也没吃过。对，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，是的，呃，是辣椒啊、豆瓣啊，炒的，我们自己炒的，自己弄的。We can actually survive here. Don't worry. All my friends, vegetarians, beautiful. Bamboo and tons of greens. So we we just found a master of she medicine, she as in the ethnic minority, and they have a different type of medicine than they have here in the than they do in the rest of China. So we're going to contact this guy, and then go out hunting for local Chinese medicine. Hi, Wen Yihao, is Lei Shi Fu? Ma, ah, I'm a Xiao Ma's friend. Then he already told you we're going to go to that place to collect the medicines with you, right? 啊，我们大概一个小时后到。呃，你们那边如果需要准备，可以准备一下。我们大概一个小时。啊，好的好的，那我们到了再给你打电话。啊，好好好，谢谢。嗯，拜拜。Come to us. I'm sorry, I have a challenge. Honestly speaking, like I have to tell you guys, I have a challenge. I have to wear a red lipstick for one week. Why? Why? This is the challenge, and I have to skip. You know, like, I cannot skip from it. So mountains. That sounds like an easy forest. challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not easy. You know, if I should do stop, this, that you know, will be like... weird. Where are we going? So you and me, we are going to try traditional she she yao she yao she people uh, medicines. Yeah, traditional Chinese ethnic. No, Chinese ethnic minority medicine. Well, girls, Carol and Senya going. <laughs> so while girls going to know more about the Shi people culture, Shi people elements, so they can create something new tomorrow, some designs. Actually, we didn't have the plan. That's why we cannot uh, describe it in detail. We want to just explore it. This is a new place for us. Bye bye. bye, -bye, bye, -bye. So this is Pan, Lan, Lei, and Zhong. So these are the four distinct last names of the Shu people. And this, this character right here, is Shu S H E Shu. <laughs> Read with me, Shu. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a nationality. It's more like an ethnic minority, um, as defined in China. So let's go. And follow their official account. Ta-da! This is just how they are getting more followers. That's it. It's not necessary. <laughs> That's right. More followers. Look, it is embroidery by men. It's not really? by women, but traditionally, it is done by men. I'm telling you, this place is upside down. <laughs> Guys, let's take care of the babies. 
and girls or women will go and do farm work. What? We should move here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fresh, not Shanghai air. Help oh, me, <laughs> Get out of my <laughs> um, So now we're gonna go look for. How is the village called? And it's called Huang's. Huang Shan Tou. Huang Shan Tou. Huang Shan Tou. In the middle of friggin' nowhere. And we're gonna look for a medicine guy who can take us to find some local medicine, which we've heard he lives around here. Not sure where. Let's His name is Li Shifu. We, yeah, we heard from locals that he is an amazing guy who do Chinese, not Chinese, but Shi Tzu medicine. Shi Tzu. people medicine, yeah. I, so. I think we should check this out. Yeah. And, the, and the place is pretty nice. We go check, see if, she, see if he's in there. My name's Shi Tzu. That's very friendly. Actually here no one wearing mask already, but because we are like uh, foreigners, so probably we first wearing them and when we see they are okay with us we can take it off. Because a lot of people are still afraid of foreigners, even though like foreigners can literally not enter the country now. So the last time a foreigner entered the country was over a month ago. Yeah. So right now, the safest people in China <laughs> are foreigners. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, this is bamboo, right? Yeah, foreigners. This is bamboo forest. Oh, yeah, 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 that would be cool. We're coming to the Huang Shan Tou. Now we're going to find you. Yes. We're going to find you in the Yokei Center. There's literally like no one here. So how are we supposed to find him? <laughs> I don't know. We even could have asked the road. Yeah, this is the most important place. There's a most important place. We need to find. We, we don't have much time, and we can find the guy. Yeah. Well, there's a picture of um, Xi Jinping over there. It's like on the walls. Yeah, it's interesting. Before, like only Mao Zedong were on the walls. Yeah. The people. No, no Jiang Zemin, no Hu Jintao, never. Yeah. Let's see Dada now everywhere. We love them. Interesting. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine myself putting like Boris Johnson. On my wall, <laughs> but it's not. It's not going to happen. We are. Look. We are blind. Look at this. We crossed this place a few times, and here, like, so actually, this is a place where they do this Chinese uh, sh sh people medicine. It's open. Probably there will be a party here. I don't know. Otherwise, why do you do this? No. You remember? There's no one here. <laughs> Should we wait? See if, see if someone comes. Yeah, let's wait. I think it's not polite to just come here. You right, know, let's, let's, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's wait, let's wait from outside. Okay. This needs at least... <laughs> it's, it's just act. Oh, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is so heavy. I've heard about this. This is... Um, this is bamboo roots. Bamboo roots. It's young bamboo roots. But this one is salty. It looks like fish. Yeah, I think they put something. Oh, it's fish. No, it's not fish. It's bamboo. But they put yeah, it in, bamboo. in bamboo. some in some stuff. Then it in some white it. paint. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Tinder, but from back in the days, you have you know your line of eligible bachelors, and the, on the other side are the potential ladies that are dating. And then you would sing to each other, and you would try to. You know, couple off because of the fixing things that you sing to each other. I'm ready to get married. <laughs> it's super interesting how even though we call these people Shuzu, they call themselves Shahajin or Shahazu and that's how they refer to themselves. And then the, the language that they speak they call it Shahahua. And um, Xiao mentioned to us earlier, Shaha, what it means is uh, a guest of the mountains. So they really see themselves basically a guest of the land that they occupy. So it's super interesting. 
This is um, a poster for the village rules, which has always been put on everyone's house. And this one's been left here. I guess this guy's not home. Shenyang Chun Chun Gui Min Yue. Min Yue. Oh, I think that's him. <笑>你好你好你好你好 <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> so we found the late Lei Shifu and now we are going to his home to take some uh, instruments and devices some tools and tools and go up to the mountains to get some grass some medicine grass yeah. we have no idea <laughs> Sure, I got a lot to learn about love 